Meditation all by itself isn't really enough. That's correct. Mm -hmm. The meditation really fits in a whole framework of of living a life that's conscious. Mm -hmm. The Buddha was walking down the road one day right after his enlightenment, it's told anyway, and some people saw him and were struck by his beauty and his radiance. I guess he was very happy after he was enlightened, certainly in a good mood anyway. And they said, what are you? Are you some kind of a, an angel or a deva? And he said, no. Well, are you a wizard or a magician? He said, no. Well, are you some kind of a god? No. Are you a man? No, he replied. Well, what are you then? And he answered, I'm awake. And in those three <laughs> words, I'm awake, kind of gave the essence of meditation teaching. And in Buddhist practice, that capacity to awaken is directed toward our own body and breath and physical being in the world around us, to our feelings and our heart, to our minds, and then to the world of the spirit or the deeper levels of human existence. And so meditation in foremost is a process of learning how to be more conscious or mindful about all of that. Within Many us. people have an image of meditation, and I, I think I've seen it myself in some instances in which a person uses it to create a wall, in effect, to withdraw, to avoid dealing with reality. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a very important question because it's been confused that way and because certain kinds of meditation practices, many of them are done in remote monasteries and remove yourself from the world. Mm -hmm. There are two major flavors to meditation, two major categories of it. One is the kind where you try and make yourself quiet by going in a cave or closing your eyes and ears and saying something over and over and over again to shut the world out. The second whole class of meditation in which Vipassana and Zen and a number of other practices. What does Vipassana mean? It means to see clearly in Sanskrit. It's a word that's a meditation for learning to see ourselves and our lives clearly. Okay. And all these other kinds of meditation fall in a group in which one seeks to find stillness in the midst of activity. Uh -huh. So that you look for stillness not by shutting the world out, but by finding a centeredness or an ease or a peacefulness, even though you're hearing and seeing and smelling and tasting. Mm -hmm. And that's a kind of practice that you can do when driving or uh, speaking with someone. In other words, you might be meditating right I now. I might be meditating right now if I was any good at it. Anyway. Uh -huh. That's right.